Precision. The precision of a measurement is the smallest unit with which the measured value is made. What does that mean? Well, let's look at a clock as an example. This first clock here can be measured precisely for time to one minute. That's because a minute is the smallest unit with which a measured value can be made. That's because we have an hour hand and a minute hand. The second clock here is the time can be measured precise to one second because on this clock with the second hand the smallest unit with which a measured value can be made is one second. The precision of a measurement is the place value of the last significant digit. In a set of measurements, the measurement with the last significant digit and the largest place value is the least precise measurement in the set. Let's look at an example. 3,700 inches again. The precision of this measurement would be 100 inches. Since 7 is the last significant digit, the digit furthest to the right that's significant, and 7 is in the hundreds place. So this measurement is precise to 100 inches. 37.0 inches, we determined earlier the last significant digit, the furthest digit to the right, was 0. So this one is actually precise to 0 0.1 inches, since its last significant digit is in the tenths place. The greatest possible error is one half of the smallest unit on the instrument on which the measurement was made, which is basically just half of the precision, right? Because the smallest unit of measurement that the instrument would have would be the precision. With the minute clock, the precision was one minute. So the smallest half of that smallest unit would be 30 seconds. For the second clock, the greatest possible error from one second to the next would be half of a second. Here we can see it looks like it's somewhere between 39 and 40 seconds. The greatest possible error if we were to record a measured value would be half of a second between 39 and 40 seconds. Here's an example. Looking at the same measurements again, we determined that the precision of 3,700 inches was 100 inches because 7 was the last significant digit and it's in the hundreds place. We just have to take half of this to find the greatest possible error. Half of 100 inches would be 50 inches. Hence, the greatest possible error is 50 inches. In 37.0 inches, the precision was 0 0.1 inches since 0 was the last significant digit and it's in the tenths place. Half of 0 0.1 inches would be 0 0.05 inches. Hence, the greatest possible error is 0 0.05 inches since the precision was 0 0.1 inches.